hi everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is kai and i like to do nail art um i feel like it's almost my tagline at this point but i'm really excited today because i have another e-nail scoops haul so i did go ahead and purchase another 20 dollars e-nail couture scoop i had originally thought that i would stop after my last super scoop but i saw that max and the team re-released the 20 dollars scoops as well as the super scoops i didn't get another super scoop because i thought that i might get a lot of the same items and a lot of those things i just i don't need duplicates of but i was curious to get a 20 dollars scoop and see how it compares i also wanted to pick up a couple of the non-scoop items to ensure that i got those so let's go through that stuff together i did go ahead and open the package and grab it here I will say it is bigger than my previous scoops boxes. So my previous like $20 scoops boxes were a little bit smaller. I don't know if that's because, hold on a second. I don't know if that's because it had some non-scoop items in it or if it was really just the scoops this time or a little bit bigger. I honestly expected them to be slightly smaller I figured maybe after the first round of scoops he would downsize, but um, we'll see. I might be pleasantly surprised. So let's start with the non-scoop items. So again, I did go ahead and open just to make sure that everything was there in case I needed to file a report or anything. Uh, so these are my non-scoop items. So first thing first, I did get some foils. Now. I got a ton of foils in the scoops, um, but I, I saw these in particular and I really wanted them and they weren't a set of foils that I had received in the scoop. So I did go ahead and buy them. I think they're only a dollar, they're on sale. It's these really pretty, let me see if I can pull one out here, gold lace foil. Yeah, there you go. So it's just some different gold lace designs. Um, I have lace foils. They are in black and white and they work really well. I also wanted to pick them up in gold. I actually had wanted to buy the other black and white lace design of foils that a lot of people have been getting in their scoops, but unfortunately um, they were out of stock. I think most of them just went into the scoops. So that's this one here. And then for other non-scoop items, I actually went ahead and picked up these stickers. These are duplicates of a set of stickers that I did get in my scoops. So I'd received these. They're really pretty. I think they're even called like Swan Lake on the website. I will try to link the stuff that I purchased directly down in the description, but I had received two sheets of these stickers in a previous scoop and I really like them. I think they're amazing for saving time with this delicate little 3D line work. So I really wanted to get extras just in case I designed something that I really like and that I want to put up on my Etsy and that I know I will need 3D stickers for in the future. So yeah, there are these. I think these were like a dollar each as well. Well worth it in my opinion for this sort of 3D embossed look. This is another duplicate I got because of a scoop item. So these are just little gem pots. See here, I'll go ahead and open it. But I had received one of these in a scoop. And I really liked the quality of the pearls here, the different shapes, the different sizes. I like the little metal purple flowers. And so I did go ahead and pick up two of these. Again, I think these were only a dollar as well on sale, just so that I would have duplicates of everything so that when I use them on a set, I can make sure that I have enough to make multiple sets with. So yeah, here's this. So for the other non-scoop items, I did get two polishes. And these were kind of the real reason I placed another order. I don't get me wrong, I love the scoops. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. I do know, unfortunately, some people have not had the best luck with them, that they've received 
like very few products in their scoops or not exactly what they wanted, which that is a bummer. If there's one thing I do wish was different about the scoops, I do wish that there was a bit more consistency in that, you know, people who are ordering them really early on were getting tons of items. And then the scoops that came later on seem to have a, a bit less product than them. So I do wish there was a little bit more consistency there, but I do think it's still good value. And so I did go ahead and pick up one more scoop and then these two. So I saw that people were receiving these in their scoops and I wish that I had as well, but unfortunately, as luck would have it, I did not get these. So I went ahead and picked them up just in case I didn't get them in the scoop either. But these are some of the shiny star top coats. So the first one here is Venus. And these are cool because they're top coats with some sort of glitter in them. So this one is a top coat with this really pretty champagne gold glitter. And it's not just glitter, it's like flakes. As you can see here. And flakes are my absolute favorite when it comes to glitter shapes. I think they look so much nicer than like the circular glitters or even the hexagonal glitters. I just think flakes make something look so classy and elegant. There's something about the irregular shape that I love. So this gel has the flakes in it, along with some finer glitter. I will do a swatch of these because I was actually looking for swatches myself before I went and bought these, but I didn't see a lot of people swatching them outside of their scoops. So, so this is more of like a champagne gold. It's like a rose gold color, very pretty. The gel itself is, I don't know if you can see, very slightly colored. It is ever so slightly colored, so just be aware of that. It's not gonna be absolutely crystal clear, but it is barely noticeable, as you can see, because it is meant to be something that goes on top. So let me cure this. And while that's curing, we'll look at the other. This one is Moon. I wanted a gold version and I wanted a silver version. So this should be a silver flake. Ooh, yes. Oh, this one's super pretty. Here we go. This is in the same style. It's just silver flakes and silver glitter. Love that. Let me swatch this one too. Again, I just love the flaked glitter look. I think I like it because it looks more organic, almost like something that you would find out in nature. So that's Moon. This one has less of a tint to it, so the other one had a bit more of like a rose gold tint. This one is more of a clear with silver. So there's not much of a tint at all here to this one. But I think it's just so pretty with those big flakes and then the smaller bits of glitter. Here are these two together. And these are Venus and Moon in the shiny star top coat. Alrighty, so now what I know you've all been waiting for, let's get into the actual scoop. So it looks like I did get quite a few tips again, which not complaining, I love tips. So let's see here. A lot of clear ones, which I'm actually pretty happy about because while I do like the colored ones, um, I can do a lot more with the clear ones. So let's see. First, I got the XXL coffin tips. Okay, let's see here. I did receive the sculptured XXL coffin in my last scoop which had a crazy high apex. That's good for some people. For me, since I do press on, that's not exactly the most helpful, but I did send them to somebody who likes a high apex. These, I think, will be better. Less of an apex here. 
Ooh, yeah. Okay. These are so much better for press-ons, a lot more flat. See here. Not too much of an apex at all. These would be great for press-ons. And I love that I have the long coffin legs. They're quite long though. Oh my gosh. They could be cut down though. That's the nice thing about these. If you get the longer ones, you can always cut them down to size, whereas if you get shorter, you can't exactly lengthen them. So awesome! I'm really happy with these. So next up, I got um, clear nail tips and natural nail tips. So these are good for if you do acrylic or poly gel, something where you don't want full cover. I don't use these a ton, but they will be nice to have for if and when I ever do get into acrylic, I, I want to try, I know I mentioned it in a previous video, um, I need to find a monomer that I can stand. I've heard that uh, I think the Pure Beauty is low odor. I'll have to check again. Somebody recommended looking at a long hair pretty nails video where she talks about the monomer. So I will see if I can get my hands on some of that and then maybe start doing more acrylic. But yeah. I just got the clear and the natural nail tips. These are the type that you just glue to the tips of your finger, tips of your fingernail. Oh, okay. I got the long sculpture square. I think these are actually going to be perfect for me because I already have some. I'm pretty sure this is the shape and size that I purchased for doing my press-ons. Let me see. I believe so. Here's what they look like. They don't have too much of an apex. Like they say that they're sculptured, but they're really not that crazy. If I put it over my thumb here. Um, I don't have a super curved thumb, but it does fit pretty nicely on my nail. So these are actually really good for press-ons. So I'm happy to have these because I believe I ordered these on my own actually previously. Ooh, okay. I got an ombre set. I have not seen these before, at least not in a, a scoop. Now these are pretty. So these are XXL again, XXL coffin. So they are quite long. That, but they have a pre-ombre design on them. Interesting. I wonder if they're just like nail uh, airbrush on there. I'm not sure. Some are quite sturdy though. Probably because they had to put a layer on to protect the paint. I will say some of them look a little bit better than others. So if you look at this one here, right? We've got a little bit of texture here that you can see in the ombre. Same with on this side. And that makes me feel like perhaps these are either done by hand, somebody goes in and airbrushes them in big batches, or maybe they're printed on, I'm not sure. Either way, they're cute. I don't know how much use I'll get out of these. I think it is a time saver for sure, and you could definitely go back in and kind of clean up this ombre a little bit. Um, but just so you know, if you are purchasing, some of them have a bit of either a printing error or some separation from the airbrushing. I do these reviews and these openings because for one, I like watching other people open theirs. Um, it helps me live vicariously but also because I wanna give you a genuine look at these products and whether or not it's worth your money. Um, I'm definitely on a budget when it comes to nail supplies. I definitely went over my budget this uh, this month, which is okay. Um, I'm not like hurting for money or anything like that. But I just know that when I order something, I, I wanna be happy with it. You know, I wanna make an informed purchase, order something that I know I will use, get the most bang for my buck. So. Um, I am going to be honest when it comes to reviewing these things. Okay, so I have more of the Sculpture Almond Medium. 
I've shown these before, but I'll show them again if somebody hasn't seen my other videos. I have actually really grown to love these tips, so I'm glad that I got so many bags of them. Here's what they look like. Okay, not a super high apex or anything like that. They're relatively flat, so great for press-ons. They're sturdy, and I just love the shape. It's like a really nice almond shape. I also got more of the mini stiletto. These are very similar to the sculptured almond nails, I'll be honest, but they are a bit more pointed. These are good for clients who like the shape, but might have shorter nails and want shorter nails. For me personally, they actually don't tend to fit my nails unless I pull them up towards the free edge, just because I have kind of like long nails, if that makes sense. So if I were to put this all the way up to my cuticle, the edge of my nail would be sticking out from under the tip. So I can't use these unless I pull them up and do the Gelex method that way. But for clients who like short nails, who have shorter nails, these would be really good. Okay, and last but not least for the tip, I got the Sculptured Square Medium, which again, is really nice because I get the Sculptured Square tips for my press-ons. And for this length, I usually just cut them down, but now I have medium tips. Really not too much of an apex or anything crazy. That way they're good for press-ons. These are like a really good length for somebody who likes long nails, but can't do, you know, crazy long nails. I like the look of long nails. I just personally can't wear them, I'll be honest, unless it's for an event or something because I work with my hands a lot. I have to type at school all the time. I am doing nail art all the time. And so doing nails with long nails for me personally, I find is actually really difficult. So I tend to keep mine somewhat short. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five bags of regular tips. So full cover tips. And then, oh, nope, uh, six bags of full cover tips. And then two bags of the glue on tips for like acrylic or poly gel application. So yeah, um, not bad at all. I am actually kind of blown away because if you've seen my recent Super Scoop video, I received, what, 24 bags of tips, which is a crazy amount. And I'm, I'm not necessarily complaining. I love that I got a bunch of tips, but somehow in 24 bags of tips, I received less variety than in this box. Like in this box, every single package is different. Whereas in that last box, um, I only had four different styles, I think in 24 packs of tips. So I am pleased with getting more tips and especially with getting more variety in different styles. Okay, and it wouldn't be a scoop without a monomer. So I did just get a bottle of monomer here, which will be useful <laughs> again, if and when I start doing uh, acrylic, but I'll have to see how this one smells. I actually haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be too overwhelming or not. It also wouldn't be a scoop unless I got the brush. So this is just a nice brush for getting rid of nail dust. It's that kind of like plastic material, so it will definitely wipe away whatever you don't want on your nails. Um, I'm actually kind of happy I got this. I maybe got a little too gung-ho with my last giveaways and I gave away both the other brushes that I received. So this one I might keep. It'll be nice to have. I also received more Lux brush wipes. I love these things. They're awesome. They're just these longer sheets of lint-free wipes. The color does fade if you put alcohol on them. So like the color will bleed. It won't stay pink like this. Not a huge deal, just so you know that the color does bleed. I haven't found that it transfers or anything. These are great. I already have a few boxes of these. Um, they're definitely coming in handy recently. I did receive another My Candy box. 
So this is just a little brush box. This is the plastic one. He does have a metal tin as well. I've heard that the middle tin is really good for storing like your magnets and things like that. Um, one of my subscribers mentioned that before. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be metal to store them. I have this whole mess of magnets here. So yeah, I could just really like pop them on in here like this and close it up and then they won't be sticking to other things in my drawer. Of course, with that, I did get more orange wood sticks. So I got one of these here and another file. This is the 240-240 buffer file. So it's nice and fine for just getting rid of the shine on your nails. Um, if you are applying product directly to your nail, that sort of thing. Okay, and for stickers, ooh, these are interesting. So this looks like some writing, newspaper almost. I really like this here. I love a newspaper look. Maybe it's the English major in me. I was actually almost a, you know, publisher, something like that. Well, I was an almost one. I had gone to school as an English major and I received a mass communications minor. So I did study news writing and publishing, that sort of thing. And I thought maybe I would one day want to be a publisher. And then I realized I didn't love the idea of working kind of individually, meaning like being by myself and working by myself all day. I do like the interactivity that I get from teaching and being able to, you know, talk to coworkers and talk with students and be able to share ideas and things like that. So I didn't end up going down the publishing route, but I'm definitely putting my English classes to use. These ones are cool. They're almost like a matte material, but they're these pretty blue flowers. Very interesting. I got an extra long tips box. So that's nice. Here's what it looks like. Oh, very cool. Oh, wow. This is like extra, extra long. Oh my gosh. I don't have any tips that are this big. I have some of them are maybe like half this big. This is awesome. Even if I don't put, you know, like extra long tips in here, it's definitely great for storing maybe like tips that I will personally use for doing model sets, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe even organizing charms. This might be a nice little organizer for that. Either way, always glad to have boxes, anything that can help me keep my space organized because not to complain, it is becoming quite disorganized just with the amount of things that I have, which again, I'm not trying to complain. I feel very blessed that I have everything that I do. Um, it's just, I need to go through and reorganize a lot of it. So very cool. Okay, and I did get some acrylics. Let's see here. Got quite a few acrylics actually. I received concealer pink this color here which is just a very light pink shade almost like a nude pink oh you know what i think it has a little teeny tiny bit of shimmer to it i would swatch these if i knew what i was doing with acrylic even remotely <laughs> but at this point i don't even know if i feel comfortable swatching them um, I also didn't necessarily want to stink up my house, but I will try to find a picture of the product, maybe from the website to insert so that you can see what it looks like. But yeah, this seems to be just like a really nice little, um, nudie pink with shimmer. Very pretty. And then I got poised, similar in terms of like lightness from dark to light, but this one's a bit more cool toned. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, definitely more cool toned. Ooh. Okay. A bit more vibrant, it looks like, too. This one seems like it have it might have a bit more color to it. And then I received this really pretty purple. So this is Paradise. And it's a mess, so I'm not gonna take the lid off. But you can see here 
this really pretty vibrant purple, almost a magenta purple, I would say. And then I got bright pink, and this is bright. They were not kidding. This is like a neon pink almost, I would say. She's bright. Again, almost like a neon for sure. Pretty though, could be fun for summer. So those are the acrylics that I received. Um, these are really big, like very generous with the acrylics here. All right, I did receive some potted gels. Let's see here, oops. So I got the happy gel. This looks like it's a poly gel in the color 109. Again, I don't necessarily want to open this right now just because I probably won't be using it right away. So I will look up the color 109 and insert a picture here of what that looks like, but it looks like it might be a pink. That would be nice, like a nude pink. I believe this is perfect for applying the one, two, three, go tips or doing like the pop-off method with uh, dual forms. But again, I'll look up a picture and put in the color. And then I did get two of the little bubblegum gels. So these are for applying your one, two, three, go tips. Like it says, one, two, three, go. Somebody kindly helped me out and explained that the bubblegum gel is for applying the nail tips. And then the gummy jelly is for affixing rhinestones. So yeah, I got bubblegum gel in pink. Let's see, is it open? Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep these closed because I don't necessarily want to expose them and have to use them right away. But I will show you, I have a big one of those that I open. Okay, so this one is from my last scoop. Here's what the pink looks like. It is not like non stick hand gel where it doesn't move at all. It is a bit sticky. Let's see here like a nail tip in here what you're supposed to do is just take your tip scoop out a little bit of the gel just like that and then you apply it to your nail so you can see it's a very thick consistency holds its shape quite well And this color is like a, a deeper pink, but it is more of a neutral, cool toned pink. So I have ivory, which is a white color, and then this pink color. Okay, I did get some bling in this one. So I've got two different things of bling here. Ooh, these are pretty. This is like a champagne colored bling pot. Yeah, so this is very much like a champagne colored set. These are nice, these really big rhinestones here. Beautiful. And then I've never seen this packaging before, but it's really cute. So I don't know if it's older or newer. It's so cute, look at this little packaging here. It's adorable. This is another little mixed gem set. It's like this one has pearls and some natural stones, some shell pieces. Oh yeah, a little gold chain. That's kind of nice. Oh, this is like a sea themed set. It has these shells. This really pretty stone. I like this stone. It's a gold, yellow, green stone. It has a little starfish in here. That's what it looks like. Yeah, definitely a starfish. Those shell pieces. Some pointed back rhinestones. Yeah, this is a cute set. I really like this one. I wish I had received more of this. And last but not least, the gels. So I'm seeing a lot of spring colors in here. Oh, okay. So I got a couple liner gels and then, oh, pretty gold. 
I do like the liner gels. I will say though, make sure that you're working in somewhat thin layers so that it cures all the way through. I had used the pastel yellow liner gel on a set and I was noticing if I laid it on too thickly, it wasn't curing all the way and so it was getting a bit wrinkled. So let's go ahead and just swatch these two. So this is the liner gel in color 19 in the pastel set. It's this really pretty pastel green. I love this mint color here. As you can see, it's a very thick consistency, which is good for color payoff, but just make sure you're not putting it on too thickly to where it won't appear. But as you can see, it is very opaque. Again, very good color payoff. Here's that pastel green. Oh, I really like this color. That's a cute color. That's nice. And then I have a neon yellow now. So I have the pastel yellow and then the neon yellow. Number 15. Oh, that is a neon. That is highlighter yellow. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Again, pretty thick formula. I don't know if the camera is really picking up just how neon that is. It's kind of wild though. That is bright. Again, I don't know how much the camera is really like picking up how fluorescent this is, but it is definitely a neon color. Here we go. I really don't think the camera is doing this justice in terms of how neon it is. And last but not least, I had to get a full size polish. This is a really pretty gold color. Here's what it looks like out of the bottle. Ooh, very bright, like yellow gold. That's pretty, very shimmery. This one is very nice and runny. So this is not like a, a thick glitter gel. It is like a normal gel consistency. Ooh, that's pretty. So it does look like it has a slight bit of sheerness to it. That's okay. You might just want to build up with multiple coats. Wow. That is so shiny though. Very pretty gold color. It's a true like yellow gold. Okay. So that is everything. Let me go ahead and line it all up here for a thumbnail. So with the scoops, again, I'm sorry that a lot of people are disappointed in theirs. That really sucks. Um, I do at this point recommend the $20 scoops over the super scoop. Or if you're gonna get a super scoop, get like one because a lot of them seem to have repeat items. Unless you really like the items you got in your super scoop and you want more of the same, I would go with just one. But I am liking the $20 scoop still. I think these are definitely like great value. Comes with some sort of decoration element. So like um, stickers, the little gem pots, some form of polish, um, some form of application gels seems to be the norm. You get your brush wipes as always. Although I did hear somebody didn't get any brush wipes and that blew my mind because I've gotten brush wipes with every scoop. I think it was Marcy from Latina Snails Design. Um, she didn't get any brush wipes, which is crazy to me. But you get your brush wipes, your acrylic. I got two things of acrylic this time, which is nice. Two big ones and then two small ones. I got, let's see, I got the little mini bubblegum gels. I did get the box, my candy box. I got the long nail tips box, the extra long. And then brush in here. Oh, monomer. Can't forget the monomer. Oh, and then I got the nail tips. How could I forget the nail tips? So yeah. This was my scoop, my $20 scoop. And overall, I am actually really happy with this $20 scoop. 
I think even more so than, again, like the $60 super scoop. If I had to give a suggestion, it would be if you have the money, definitely get a super scoop. I think it's great value, but get maybe like one unless you're looking for a lot of duplicates. I've seen a lot of people getting the same things in their super scoops, including like little mini nail lamps and stuff like that. I personally just don't have a ton of use for those sorts of things. So for me, like this is more what I need. I need nail polish, decoration stickers, um, wipes, tips, acrylic, that kind of thing over like the little mini nail lamps, um, that sort of thing, just because I already have nail lamps. So. This, to me, is a lot more useful, is a lot more helpful. I think it's somewhat of a better value as well. So my advice, if you're even looking for my advice, would be get one super scoop if you can, if you have the budget for it, and then just go with the smaller scoops outside of that. Or if you're looking for just nail polish, I do think the color scoops are a really good deal. I think it's, what, $55 now, but you get 24 polishes. So that's, you know, a little over, barely over $2 for a polish. I think that's a great steal. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me again for this little haul here. This probably will be my last email couture haul for a while. I do have some other brands that I'm excited to be working with, things like Born Pretty, um, Madam Glam. I have a bunch of nail designs that I want to do, some more tutorials, work with me videos that I want to get out to you. So this will probably be my last email control haul for quite some time, maybe until, you know, even the next time he comes out with the scoops in the winter. But I really appreciate, I just want to say everybody who's recently subscribed to my channel, who's joined me. It's been a crazy ride this past month. I can't believe I'm already almost at 500 subscribers. That is just it blows my mind. It's very humbling, I will say, as somebody who very much suffers from imposter syndrome. Uh, I, sometimes I can't believe it. But I am just so thankful to all of you. Thankful to all the people who have helped support me and put me here. And I will see you all next time. Bye!